Hello, my name is Thiago Miranda from Fager Automation and today we are going over CNC control navigation on our Fager 8060, 8065, 8070 and for this tutorial we're going to be using the Fager 8065 free simulator which can be downloaded in the description below. Let's get started. Here I'm on the main screen of the CNC and I have the vertical soft key menu in the horizontal soft key menu. On the top, I have the CNC status bar, okay? And it displays the, the name of the program that is loaded. Uh, I, here I have an icon that displays the CNC status. And also, when I click on the Fager logo, it appears this drop down menu and I can navigate through different modes and some CNC configuration, okay? Uh, going down this this menu, let's go to automatic mode, which is the same as execution mode. And here I can see the program, my work coordinates on all the axes, G codes and M codes that they are active, some two information, feed rate information, spindle information, and cycle information. Okay, on my ver vertical uh, soft key menu, I have some uh, program functions that I can select a new program. I can import a program that has been simulated. I can go to do inspection mode, which is a very important feature that we're gonna have a, a video later on explaining that feature. Um, in on my horizontal menu, I have some programs uh, so some I have some program functions as well I can select a block to start from uh, MDI single block graphics and so on okay when I when I press the auto auto key again on the keyboard I'm navigating three screens and I can see here on top that I have like uh, five screens and I'm on the second screen of five and now what is different here, I, I see the part offset applied and my distance from machine zero, okay, because I have G54 applied. Now I can see the following error. Now I'm on the graphics screen, I can see the program running on the graphics. And here I have like all the machine coordinates. So, okay, uh, going to the figure menu again, I can go to jog mode, okay, and here is my, my first screen, which I, I have the X coordinates, um, I can press the manual key again, and now I can see the falling error of the axis, I also have a jog graphics screen. And also my part coordinates and machine coordinates. Going to the Fager menu again, edit simulation mode. This is where I can edit a program. Um, we have a video explaining how to do it. Uh, I press the edit button again. I can go to the graphics screen. Here I can simulate the program and see the time on the, the, the cycle time. Okay. Here I can uh, edit the program and I can see the, the graphics as well. And here I can, I can uh, translate programs from 8055 to 8065, which is a very cool feature for those who are updating from 8055 controller to 8065, 8060 or 8070 controllers. So going to the user tables, here is my zero offset tables, fixture tables, common parameters that can be used for uh, various purposes on um, subroutines, PLCs, and scripts, global parameters the same way, and local parameters as well. So, Tool and magazine table. Here we have the one, one way to see the the tool table. 
this would be like a different layout okay we have all the information of the tools here like length uh, radius type of the tool family offset to status here I can see what the active tools like all my magazines uh, and all my pockets as well here I can have a better uh, look of the magazine like how the magazine is behaving like uh, if this uh, like example this pocket one is free pocket two if I have a two on those pockets I can load and unload tools to, from the magazine now I'm going to the figure menu, utilities mode. So here is basically like a explorer of the main of the CNC. So you can go here. You see my computer because I'm using a simulator, but uh, you can navigate through your files. Also here you can do a CNC backup. We have a video explaining how to do a backup properly. You can go to the diagnosis page. So here we see the CNC software version which is installed. We can generate a report figure. You can see the error log. Okay. Escape out of it. We go back to the diagnosis page. Under software, I see all the software options that I have. It's a fully, it's a fully loaded uh, CNC and as you can see, I have like 26 axes, 6 spindles, 4 magazines, and all my software options here that goes from basic items to more advanced items like IoT connectivity, Industry 4.0 connectivity, um, and other important features like kinematics calibration, and so on. So now I'm gonna press the main menu key, okay? I'm back to the main screen and I have basically a shortcut here on my horizontal soft key menu and I can access all those modes that I showed before. So pressing execute we can go to the auto mode, edit we can go to edit simulation mode, jog mode we can go to the, the manual mode, we can access the tables from here. Can go to the utilities also when you press when, when we press plus we have other places that other shortcuts here that they are more for machine commissioning setup and oem oriented so this was a video to basically cover some basics of the cnc how to navigate through the screens and uh, where to find um, the work modes that you want to work on and if this video helped you out please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content if you have any suggestions for our next tutorial video leave, an, leave us a comment below thanks for watching